Hey, how's it going guys? It's Kosh and welcome to another Call of Duty Ghost video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two different weapons, the AK-12 and the Remington and we're going to be doing a little comparison of both these weapons. We're going to be taking a look at two different stats, the in-game stats and also some in-depth stats for these two weapons. We're going to figure out which one is the best assault rifle out of these two and figure out which one is the best one to use in-game. So if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to drop a like rating. The last comparison video did absolutely amazing and if we can match up to that with another 60 plus likes that would be amazing as well. Also if you're new to my channel why don't you hit that subscribe button for more quality ghost videos but without further ado let's jump straight into it. Alright guys so before going into any in depth stats for both these weapons. We're going to begin by taking a look at the new game stats of both these weapons and seeing how close they actually are or how far apart they are. Now before I actually do jump into this, I want to say I try to keep my commentaries for these videos very very professional so you guys can actually sit tight and watch it. So I really appreciate if you guys gave me some feedback on my commentary so I can improve it if it needs improvement and I ask you guys not to be bored while watching my videos because I do feel like when I speak in too much of a professional way you guys probably end up being bored. Alright now, let's move into the in-game stats for both these weapons. So as you guys can see on the screen right now, the stats show that the AK-12 and the Remington are not too far apart in in-game stats. The accuracy are quite similar, even though the AK-12 does beat the Remington by a little bit but you can barely notice it. Now the damage are actually the same, the range of the Remington is a lot more than the range of the AK-12 though, even though it doesn't seem like that all the time. But also the fire rate of the Remington lacks a little bit because the AK-12 does have a lot more fire rate than it. And also the mobility of both weapons are the same because they are both assault rifles. So the in-game stats show that these two weapons are quite balanced. Now when we take a look at the in-game stats in a few moments you guys will actually see that there isn't much of a big difference there. And it's going to be very tough to pick which is the best assault rifle of these two. So after taking a look at the in-game stats for both these weapons. Let's take a look at the index stats so we can actually be sure of which weapon is actually better than the other. So for the AK-12 the maximum damage is 49 and the minimum damage is 25. Whereas for the Remington the maximum damage is 49 as well and the minimum damage is now 20. So you can see right there that the minimum damage for the AK-12 is a lot more but a little bit more than the Remington. So therefore it already beats the Remington in damage generally. And therefore it's obviously got a lot more damage or a little bit more damage than the Remington in total. Now moving on we've got the fire rate. For the fire rate of the AK-12 we've got 689 rounds per minute. And whereas for the Remington we've got 631 rounds per minute. And therefore once more the AK-12 beats the Remington on that note. Because it has quite a little bit more or quite a significant amount of fire rate more than the Remington does. And if you guys have actually played with both these weapons in game. You'll be able to tell that when you're in a gunfight. If you have the AK-12 you tend to win that gunfight more than you would if you had the Remington on. And it's quite difficult to win those one on one gunfights with the Remington. Mainly because of that slow fire rate. Now moving on we've got the magazine size. Now the magazine size of the AK-12 is 30 and the starting ammo is 90 and the maximum ammo is 180. Now for the Remington the magazine size is 24, the starting ammo is 72 and the max ammo is 144. Now once again you can see the Remington is slacking on there. Which means you will need to put extended clip on the Remington for you to have enough ammo to survive. And even if you want to win a lot of gunfights or if you're in tough situations and you don't have scavenger then you're going to be in a real real hustle. Anyways we can move on to the headshot multiplayer of both these weapons and once again just like the last comparison video they both have the same headshot multiplayer of 1.4 times which means they make 1.4 times more damage to the head than when you're shooting anywhere else on the body but obviously because the AK-12 has a little bit more damage you'll probably have a little bit more damage to the head than you would for the Remington R5. Moving on to the reload times, this is actually what the Remington wins. The reload time for the AK-12 when it's empty is 3.6 seconds and when it's got a few bullets left it's actually 3.267 seconds and the reload time for the Remington when it's empty is 2.83 seconds 
and when he got a few bullets left is 2.46 seconds. So that you can see straight away that the Robinson has a faster reload time and once more if you've played in game and you're not playing with sleight of hand you actually be able to tell that the Robinson does reload a little bit faster than the AK-12 does when you're playing with it with no sleight of hand either. Okay so after taking a look at both the in-game stats and also the in-depth stats for both these weapons we can tell that the AK-12 is a better assault rifle than the Remington R5. Now although the Remington R5 is actually a good assault rifle in its own way, it has more range than AK-12 and when you're trying to go for long shots, you probably win and get a lot more long shots than you would do with the AK-12 because it's very very easy because it has that little bit more range than the AK-12. Other than that, the AK-12 swings to win in all other ways and it's clearly the best assault rifle, having more damage, a higher fire rate and more ammo than the clip which will be very very crucial when you're in desperate gunfights. Well okay, there you have it guys, those are the full comparisons for both the AK-12 and the Remington R5. They're both very good assault rifles but obviously the AK-12 wins and to be honest it's actually one of my favourite assault rifles in the game. Now if you guys would like me to start putting class ups at the end of the videos, the best class up for both these weapons, let me know. In the comments below and I'll tend to do that at the end of each comparison video. But anyways, I hope you guys find the video helpful. Let me know in the comments below which one you think is actually the best assault rifles out of these two from the stats I've shown you. Anyways, guess that's it for me guys. If you enjoyed remember to drop a like rating and I guess I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.